hello everyone welcome back to the channel fresh video coming at you today uh, it's about the block owls which I'll be telling you a lot about a lot of people licking their wounds from the sellout of the pavia but I have heard there is going to be another drop another 40,000 drop potentially come in so that's good head over to my Twitter as well send me a message or give me a like uh, I got this cool NFT from the Grano Letters. Look, thank you very much for that, guys. That's very nice. Let's get on with today's subject, which is Block Owls CNFT. It's a story driven 3D animated NFT adventure. Now, I have Discord and a website I'm going to show you very shortly. Uh, quite new these guys are not many uh, followers yet so give them a follow here's a peek of one of the NFTs it's like an owl in a glass cage but we're going to come to all of that so yeah join them on Twitter discord uh, this is quite funny look I am new to discord and yesterday I was trying to assign a moderator role but instead I kicked him out of the server Welcome to my world, guys. So, yeah, mints in eight days. There's a timer, a countdown. I'll be showing you that and everything else that's happening with the block owls. Okay, here's the website. It's actually quite a re really nice website. There's a lot to go through today. I'm going to be going through the story, exploring the NFTs, uh, the roadmap. There's a significant roadmap. The rarities of the NFTs and some FAQs. Okay, so welcome to the world of Block Owls. Block Owls is a story driven 3D animated NFT adventure on the Cardano blockchain. There's a teaser video, but I'm going to put those in later on. NFT collection drop in December the 1st. There's a lot dropping on December the 1st. It's going to be a busy day. I believe for the for the blockchain 52 52 unique block owls explore them all now there's a story I'll show you the story behind this It is a story driven NFT concept now here's a treat for you this is their teaser video which is it's insane how incredible this is Stars up above me, stars in my eyes Fire below me, starting the rise I'm my own captain, hanging on tight tonight Pointless to try and turn back the time I've never been this old in my life Load up my spaceship, tear through the sky I might leave regrets and Wishes and hopes and bells and Chapter 1. Glitchy Block Owls in Chains. Drop in December the 1st. Drop 1. Hydra. Signal is very weak out here, but I think all 52 Block Owls will be scanned and uploaded within a week or so. I'll keep you posted. And that's from Lodi, the Hydra pilot. Another quote from Lodi. You should see all Block Owls now. It says here that all of them are uploaded. I'll be back with the actual owls December the 1st. So they will be ready for the new owners. And here they are. 52 of these. I do like these. It's a nice concept. They look really cool. Animated and moving around. There's a sandwich there. King. Let's take a look at that. Okay, so King would be number 32. 
it's uncommon I think that that means there's 84 of them and this these are the rarities look you got state dizzy body shape modified block main material rubber gender unknown display box base is black cardboard and styrofoam display box glass is plain plexi project is block owls chapter chapter one hydra software telling the software that's been used and the author policy id there and the token name yeah there's 84 of those let's go back and let's see that one's jazzy look that's jumping around is that lova another uncommon let's see if we can find something that's not uncommon or maybe a bit of a special what about this one ouch yeah this is a legendary one so there's only be eight of these you can see why it's called ouch a uh, state is effed up body shape modified block material plastic gender male yep that goes on giving you the rarities there again so that's cool roadmap note that this roadmap relies on the success and adoption of the block house adventure okay so chapter one is the glitchy block house in chains which we've seen that's drop one hydra so the phase one is building the website setting up twitter which is all done teaser video which you're going to see policy id the phase two is reveal launch date which we know is the first reveal nft designs that's done in the contest then three is the nft launch video hydra airdrop 52 nfts in the contest drop two Plutus is called, or uh, Ada Cardano themed. Uh, that's Q1 of 2022. It's NFT drop, new set of unique block owls, 46 pieces. Contest, story and design progression, animation video. These videos are actually really cool. Um, giveaways and airdrops, and then they're a lot, a lot of fun, which is it's about that as well. About people enjoying themselves bit of an escape and enjoying these nfts drop three q2 2022 same again there seem to be a decrease in the supply as they go 32 pieces on that and then story and design progression giveaways again more fun uh, give away some physical block owls that'd be cool some like plush kind of toys merchandise merchandising exploring the ways towards something big then obviously these guys are kind of penciled in lots of things chapters two three four going all the way to 2023 let's hoot so yeah they are looking to do a lot and take this project further and further into the future so that's pretty cool um, let's take a look at the frequently asked questions quick look at these what is block hours we know what they are what is Cardano I think we know that um, where can I get a block owl? they'll be available on the website mint price is 42 ADA that's not bad that's pretty average not too high how many can you mint it's one per transaction but you can keep uh, minting multiple block owls in one wallet can I buy a block owl using an exchange wallet hmm I think we all know the answer to that no oh, right okay um, when is the launch it's the 1st of December 6 p.m. UTC yeah these UTC I think that is the same time as GMT and you've got EST and all the rest so make sure that you know the time but there is that handy counter that's going on 
the policy IDs, we've seen those. Always check those. Um, rarities. There will be there will be minted 52 different block owl designs. Some block owls are minted in low quantity and some in larger. Block owls with unique display box and characteristics are often the rarest ones. There are seven rarity levels. So there's 128 common, 84 uncommon, 58 rare, 36 very rare, 21 epic, 8 legendary and 1 mythic. Explore the NFT rarities here. Okay. Um, how does the future look like? We've seen that. We've been through the uh, roadmap. How do you create the block owls? They are created with a 3D program called Cinema 4D. Um, all block owls have custom design, textures and materials and all assets are created from scratch. Who is the block owls artist? It's just me, Kent. Block Owls is still a one-man show and has been created in stealth mode for quite some time. Um, I did. You can contact Kent. Here's a bit about Kent. Hi there, I'm Kent. I'm a creative director and motion designer with a huge passion for creating stories and visual concepts. I have over 15 years of experience as a professional motion designer and currently running a successful animation studio that have worked on projects for some of the largest brands in the world. Block Owls is a personal project and it's my contribution to the Cardano e ecosystem. I'm not a coder nor a tech dev but I'm pretty experienced when it comes to visuals and concept development. This is a project with focus on visual storytelling, NFT, NFTs and bringing joy to the Cardano community. I hope Black Out, Block Owls attracts other creatives, project owners and blockchain nerds so that we together can make this even bigger. Hope to hear from you. Let's discuss the future. I did um, contact Ken and he got back real quick to me. The story. It's been six years since the planet Ada Dada, home of the Block Owls, was attacked by the evil Jabby Zs from Planet X-20, also known as the richest race in the universe. Rumours about the Block Owls inventing something called blockchain spread across the galaxy. A technology so powerful it can bring the entire galaxy together as one big decentralised economy. The Jabby Zs hated it. A huge spaceship with and a so-called blockchain killer laser gun was observed in the Ada Dada skies. The Jabby Zs hated the idea of decentralization so much they decided to destroy the blockchain. What they didn't expect was how large and complex it had become. It was like all over the place but they gave it a shot. Yes literally one shot because they had the, to save the power to return. The laser beam hit a small village called Hooty. The shockwave pushed hundreds of hours into the sky, so high they never fell down again. Though the blockchain survived, it was barely affected. The Jabby Zs disappointedly went away and haven't returned since, although rumours say they are building a million times more powerful blockchain killer laser gun. And we'll come back next year. That's pretty bad news. We still don't know what kind of laser they used. But it caused some strange reaction to the owls standing nearby. They instantly turned into glitchy mutants. Some scientists believe their new appearance was defined by an item. Or a thought that they had a moment the laser hit them. They are still researching this. Touching a glitchy owl is very dangerous, so they had to be isolated for quite some time. A few months passed and they became more calm and stable. Surprisingly, the glitch gave them unique superpowers. 
Sadly, after a few years, they lost it and came back to normal again, which is a bit boring, I'll say. But what about the owls that got pushed into the sky? Where are they? Did they survive? Yes, they did actually make it. At least the ones we have found and they are still glitching. The smartest heads on Ada Dada recently found a way to map their location in space. So this map shows where the glitchy block owls are located. The three rescue ships, Hydra, Plutus and C1 are on their way to pick them up. As you can see, they are pretty far away. Estimated time to pick them up vary from two weeks to several months. Some of them are drifting towards a blue hole and we believe many have been swallowed by the blue hole already. Rescue ship C1 will bring a special probe to search for them inside. C1, Plutus and Hydra are three rescue ships that will pick up the block owls. They are already registered. The launch took place a few days ago. See the video below. Lodi and Hydra rescue ship pilot. The centers an update. The glitchy block owls are important for the safety of the blockchain and we do believe they have the power to stop the Jabby Z's and their blockchain killer laser gun next year. Let's bring them home and prepare for fight. All glitchy block owls will be kept in a sealed box in chains for a while. This will help them gain control much faster and make them even more powerful. Stay hooped. So don't forget block owls they'll be minting December the 1st is the first drop which is in six days time from this video obviously if you're watching this video later on it may be a bit different definitely a unique concept here so I want to wish Kent all the luck with this and good luck and please don't forget to subscribe check out my other videos and everyone just be nice to each other and I'll see you all very soon thank you <laughs>